Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or Bust. So I took a couple of days off from YouTube just trying to clear my head and get away from this uh, for a while. And today I decided to make a quick video uh, as a really brief update as to what's been going on with the Canic Elite. So I know that Headshot just made a video the other day and I know there were a lot of people questioning the, the ejection pattern because it was, it was really pathetic on his. And, and I'm not making any offense to him. Great channel, great reviewer. Um, but it wasn't really made mention of in the video. So, you know, definitely check that video out so you can see for yourself firsthand. Um, you know, again, just to clarify, I had issues with that, but I also had issues with the slide lock spring, you know, causing the, um, what I appear, what I, what I believe was a malfunction of the firearm to not go back in the battery. But anyway, um, I got an interesting email this morning from Jacob Herman, who is their head honcho, or, or I guess head honcho of their marketing. And he asked if I could confirm if I received my firearm yet. And I got a good laugh at that because the last time I spoke to him, I was uh, assured that my gun would be back to me by the end of last week. And tomorrow marks the eighth week that this gun has not been with me. So again, you know, I know some people out there said stop complaining and whining, but you know what, I, at what point is too much too much? You know, I can understand a gun being way two, maybe even three weeks max, but is eight weeks considered too much time for your gun to be gone? Um, you know, I, I guess if people want to dismiss it as the ejection isn't a big problem, well, there must be a big problem with my firearm because for it to be gone for eight weeks and having no fix at this point and nobody knows where the hell it is, I mean, I find that kind of interesting. So I had to explain to Jacob that uh, I spoke to an individual, uh, emailed an individual last week who had been handling the gun since day one, and I had asked them to give me a status update, and they said that the gun would be sent to my FFL, and then when, of course, I asked them why would it be going to my FFL if I send it to them directly, that in New York State you don't have to do that. Apparently, it's not a state issue, it's a Century Arms issue, where they won't send it back to you, even though you're the legal owner of the gun. So I said, well, that's ridiculous, because now I'm, I'm going to have to pay $35 to have a gun transferred to me that I already own, which is totally senseless. Um, and then I also asked them for the uh, tracking number when it was sent out, and uh, again, a week has gone by. I don't even have a tracking number. So I'm assuming the gun has not been sent out and tomorrow's eight weeks. So, you know, kind of pissed off, kind of uh, really annoyed by this. You know, at this point, it looks more and more like uh, this Kanek Elite is going to be history when it comes back because I just, you know, I understand, you know, it's a great look. I said a lot of great things about the gun when I first bought it, uh, even after I shot the first 300 rounds. But after the additional 300, I had those two issues with it. Um, especially with the uh, the slide locking back for no apparent reason, you know. At this point, I think it's I think my love affair with the uh, Elite is over, um, unless it comes back and it's fixed and it's up running 100%. You know, but at this point, I don't know what's taken so long. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that it was sent back to Turkey. I, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of because, you know, I live in the Northeast. New Hampshire's in the Northeast. You would think that it you know would happen a little bit faster. Um, but it, it didn't and I still don't know where it is and I emailed Jacob Herman about Gosh, let's see. It's 430 up here in New York So I emailed him about five hours ago and I never got a response back from that So, you know, that's my experience. It may not be for you. I've been watching some other videos I know some people have had really great experience with them and, and great man I hope it continues for you uh, and it's not a hatred of Sentry Arms or Canik You know, I know a lot of people have uh, the SFs and the SAs and have had no issues with them uh, but for me, it's just been a really unpleasant experience and one that I, I care not to, uh, you know, repeat or actually have anybody else go through. So, um, you know, guys, I, I hope that yours is working. I hope you've had great luck with it and I hope you continue to. And hopefully, uh, you know, this problem will be fixed and hopefully Century Arms will step up and do something right. Uh, because at this point, it's, it's kind of deflating to know that eight weeks later, still no gun. Eight weeks later, still no idea what's wrong with it. Eight weeks later, nobody even knows where it's at. So that's that. So uh, I'm going to be doing some updates and reviews on a couple of other items that are coming my way. Uh, I'm not going to tell you just what they are just yet, but uh, they should be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. And, um, you know, I'll just continue to do what I do and get better at doing it. So I hope you guys have a great day. As always, freedom is never free.